welcome to four season tricks uh, today we will learn what is the requirement of swimming pool and uh, how we maintain and uh, what is the chemical and uh, how dosing pump and the auto dosing chemical system how it's work and what is the recommended uh, parameters so to maintain proper swimming pool water so let's start we'll go to mechanical room and uh, we'll explore so here we are in mechanical room and uh, first we'll start from tank chemical tank uh, this one left side is uh, chlorine tank and the right side is uh, ph tank we are adding chemical with water there is a water and we are adding chemical and in powder form then it's become liquid form so here you see we can see dosing pump this is auto dose chemical dosing pump you can see how it's work how it's working and uh, uh, mostly it's giving parameter reading in orp and then we can convert orp to ppm here is chart for example this is ph if ph we are maintaining 7.5 7.6 7.4 so we can see and the chlorine between 2 to 3 so here we can see 2.5 and the 7.5 ph so the range should be like 740 to 750 the range should be 740 to 750 orp that auto dosing pump has to maintain and then as we know we have uh, always two pump one is standby and one is duty pump so one should work one should be standby and uh, this is water heater system for pool water and there is thermostat recommended thermostat uh, water temperature is 25 to 27 or 28 so we set it on 27 almost uh, water temperature should be 27 or 28 maximum in for indoor pool and uh, here is filter backwash wall uh, filtration wall you can see here is tank sand filtration and when we do backwash first we have to switch off uh, pump and then we have to turn back on backwash and then depend on the swimming pool side usually we are doing like 5 to 6 minutes backwash and then again we have to switch off pump and then we have to turn back to rinse like this and then almost 4 to 5 minutes we have to we have to rinse it and the, uh, one more thing we can see in the side glass uh, once we do backwash uh, in beginning it will be like dirty and later on it, be, it will become clean clear so in rinse also it uh, it will be clear and then once we finish we can turn back to filter but we have to switch off then we we, uh, we have uh, we can turn back otherwise uh, wall might be get uh, damaged and once we do backwash we have to check here uh, like this is gauge if uh, the meter will go on yellow mark yellow color it means we need backwash even uh, less than uh, it will not go to uh, yellow but at least in a week we have to do we can do backwash we have to do, we should do backwash and backwash should be less than uh, less than 10 to 12 psi and here is a chemical so this is sodium bicarbonate uh, we call say in common language soda ash to increase ph and uh, this is sodium bicarbonate uh, it's increasing alkalinity and this one is sodium bisulfate uh, to reduce ph which we are using uh, in the tank uh, dosing auto chemical dosing tank this is the one to uh, to reduce ph sodium bisulfate and uh, this is 
chlorine. We are using rinser to maintain chlorine. And uh, here is a circulation pump and line as we discussed in the beginning. And uh, there is uh, also thermometer. We can see uh, water temperature from pool, written water temperature. And uh, here is sensor for chlorine and pH. So it's sensing from the pipe. So uh, who is beginner, especially for hospitality and uh, who is working in the pool, spa, it's a useful video for them to learn something. And uh, uh, it's good for us also to maintain uh, proper pH and chlorine for the pool water. So uh, this is the things that I want to show and uh, I hope we learn something today. Yeah, and uh, let's see see you in the next video if you like this video please like subscribe and comment thank you thank you for watching this video